Hey guys, Josh here, and in this video, I would like to share with you seven upcoming cozy games that I've been looking forward to recently. Usually, I focus on games that have farming mechanics, but this selection is a bit more diverse with some life sims, management games, and more. If you find a game you like, consider leaving a like on the video so it can reach more people, and let's get started. First is a game that was revealed during the June Nintendo Direct, and I feel like it flew under the radar of a lot of people as I don't see anyone talking about it, and that game is the new Dempamen. I was not familiar with this series until recently, but there were three Dempamen games released for the Nintendo 3DS, and this new one for the Nintendo Switch will be free to play and release on July 22nd. In this game, you will have to find and catch these quirky little Dempamen, customize them with different outfits, and send them in dungeons to take part in turn-based battles against monsters. In between dungeons, you will have access to an island that you can decorate by placing down houses, furniture, paths, and do side activities like fishing. To make things even better, the game will feature a 4-player local co-op mode where you and your friends can catch special Dempamen together. I would have loved to see an online multiplayer mode, especially since it will be free to play, I feel like it would have been so easy to find people to play with compared to a local co-op mode, but even though I'll most likely be playing by myself, I am very excited for this one. My only big concern with the new Dempaman is that since it's free, I wonder what it will look like in terms of microtransactions or DLC, and if there will be any limitation to what you can do without paying. The 3DS games were about $10 each, and personally I think that I would have preferred also paying just a one-time fee for the Switch version, but we'll have to see how it goes when it releases in a few days. It seems to be a very niche, very unique series that not too much people know about yet, and I can't wait to experience it for the first time. The second game was also featured in the last Nintendo Direct, and it's Hello Kitty Island Adventure planned to release for the Nintendo Switch in early 2025. This is currently an Apple Arcade exclusive, it's been available on there for about a year, and it's pretty much Sanrio's take on the Animal Crossing-like life simulation game that takes place in real time. You create your character and move to this exciting island filled with different biomes and areas to explore, activities to do, and famous Sanrio characters to meet. I have not played the Apple Arcade version, but I keep hearing that it's surprisingly a really fun and high quality game, plus it seems like the gameplay is quite diverse with some platforming, riding minecarts, completing puzzles, as well as all of the usual such as fishing and decorating. I think that this will be a really fun alternative to Animal Crossing on the Switch, even if you're not necessarily a Sanrio fan, and if you've played the Apple Arcade version, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Now let's change things up a bit with Crookwood, a cozy city builder planned to release on Steam with no release date yet. What first caught my attention with this game is that it is being developed by the team who made Parkitect, which if you don't know is a theme park management game, that feels very similar to the first two Roller Coaster Tycoon titles, but with modern graphics and quality of life features. It's honestly so much fun, both in terms of management and gameplay loop, as well as for the creative side of things if you want to make your park look pretty and unique. So they are now working on this new game where you'll get to build towns for these little frogs, and I'm confident that it will be just as good. You will design and build structures piece by piece, plan and decorate your towns, and make sure that your frogs are thriving and have their needs met as they gather resources and build up your economy. As you progress, you will unlock new areas to build on and also get access to a large forest where you will explore, meet new characters and uncover some secrets. I'm really liking the atmosphere and what I see so far, everything just looks very charming. The scale is also interesting because you can see some dandelions and mushrooms that are bigger than the frogs, so your people and the towns you're building are all very tiny, which reminds me of games like Grounded or Pikmin, and I hope they will find creative ways to lean into that. Overall, it looks like it will be quite a relaxed and peaceful experience, but I hope there will be something for players who, like me, also want a challenge in their cozy game. I think their previous game, Parkitect, had a really good balance in terms of difficulty. It was relaxing, but also challenging at the same time, so I would love if they did something similar with Crookwood. If you prefer managing a single building rather than a whole town, then you might enjoy the next three games, starting with Tavern Keeper. Just like Crookwood is being developed by the great team that's behind Parkitect, 
Tavern Keeper is being made by the developers of Game Dev Tycoon, another great management sim, this one about running a game dev studio. In Tavern Keeper, as the name suggests, you will play as a tavern keeper. You will start with a small tavern and you'll build rooms, hire staff, stock ingredients, and make sure that the fantastical cast of customers that show up are all satisfied. You will gradually move to larger and larger taverns where you'll get to manage a bigger team and also offer more meals, drinks, rooms and services to your guests. The game will keep things interesting with special characters that will guide you through a campaign, so it looks like there will be a bit of a story, along with tons of simulated details such as temperature, personality traits for customers and staff, possibilities for them to get sick, and other systems that will ensure that every day is different in your tavern, with room for unexpected events to take place. Tavern Keeper will also have a design mode if you just want to decorate and share the tavern of your dreams with other players without having to worry about management. There should be something for everyone in this game and I can't wait to check it out when it releases on Steam in the last quarter of 2024. The next game is Hotel Galactic, a cozy management sim inspired by the worlds of Studio Ghibli. Created by the team behind Blockbuster Inc. and The Tenants, which I've only played a little bit of, Hotel Galactic can currently be backed on Kickstarter, they are planning to start alpha playtests later this year, and a full release for PC and consoles by the end of 2026. In this one, you will be creating a hotel using modular building mechanics, so you will just have to place down rooms horizontally and vertically to create your dream hotel, and it reminds me of games like Fallout Shelter or even Spiritfarer. You will get to decorate the rooms down to the tiniest details to make sure they match the taste of your guests, and you will have to plan your hotel layout strategically to optimize the flow so your guests and your staff get to their destination efficiently. I really like the style they're going for with this one, you have this side-scrolling perspective which seems very convenient for managing things, but when you zoom in, you can see that the rooms are actually in full 3D, so you can take time to appreciate the details of each room and the character's animations and everything if you'd like. Your hotel will be on a magical floating island that you will also get to explore and gather resources from, which will then help you upgrade your hotel and cook delicious dishes for your customers. Speaking of customers, the characters in this game will be inspired by various animals, spirits and creatures, each with their own story and personality, and by looking at them, you can definitely feel the Ghibli inspiration. It will take some time before we can all play this game, but it looks like it could be quite a promising one. The next game could have also very well been titled Hotel Galactic. My Interstellar Inn will task you with building an inn in space. Not only will you decorate and manage rooms for your guests, You'll also be putting together a whole complex to keep them entertained. Restaurants and bars where you'll serve over 60 different meals and cocktails, a cinema, a bookstore, arcades, a spa, and so much more, all with various themes, styles, and colors to really make everything look however you'd like. You will also do some space farming, and since you want to be on land, it will be a bit different and you'll have to make sure your plants get just the right amount of light, oxygen, as well as nutrient concentration so they can thrive. One thing that makes my Interstellar Inn a bit different from a lot of other management sims is it looks like you'll have your own character instead of just some sort of entity you never get to see like in most management games. You will also be able to befriend the different NPCs by completing tasks for them or giving them gifts, and 12 of them will be romanceable. It is a bit hard right now to get a clear idea of what this game will be like as there are only a few screenshots out there currently, but from what I can see and read, it almost feels like this will be a mix between your regular life sim game, where you fish, farm and befriend characters, and a management sim where you build and run an inn. You will also have a spaceship that can be used to mine in asteroid fields and hunt for treasures, which to me seems like the equivalent of a mine in traditional farming sims. That being said, most of the game will take place in the inn that you're building. My Interstellar Inn looks quite unique, it's also planned to release in 2024 on Steam, which I find a bit surprising since there's no trailer yet, but I'll definitely keep an eye out for this one. Lastly, we have a game that recently got a new trailer, and that game is Luz Lagoon, currently planned for Steam, and maybe consoles depending on how well their Kickstarter campaign goes, 
which should be launching sometime soon. In this game, your uncle Lou disappeared, so it will be your mission to find him, and on top of that, you will also have to take care of the seaplane delivery business that he left behind. You will fly from one island to the next with your plane, and upon landing, you will take out your Swirler 2000, a very handy vacuum that will let you gather and harvest various materials. Gathering resources can feel tedious in some games when you constantly have to switch between different tools, especially when they can break, so I do like the idea of just having a vacuum that does everything. You will then use those resources to craft goods that you will deliver to residents of the archipelago. You will get to actually control the seaplane in flight, which I am looking forward to, as well as upgrade and customize it. Lou's Lagoon looks like a very pretty game. I also love the combination of life sim elements, crafting, and running a delivery service. The game will also feature character customization, and there's no release date for it yet, but I am very excited. So these are seven upcoming cozy games I am looking forward to. I feel like they're all so different, even though we have a few management sims in there, and it's hard to choose which ones I'm the most excited for. I am really intrigued by the new Dempa Man, and that comes out very soon, so I've been thinking about it a lot lately, but let me know which games you're looking forward to the most. If you want even more games to look forward to, I have a whole playlist with videos similar to this one. Usually it's mostly farming games, but feel free to check out the playlist and I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and I'll see you all in the next video.